hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to use Ajax with your JSF a web application so if you know till now we have made a project uh, which looks like this so we have uh, this button and when we click this it goes to the next page we have already set our background we already set our this front image and till now our application looks like this so for demonstration of Ajax first of all I will like to uh, let you know that what is Ajax so Ajax with the help of Ajax you could be able to load your content without refreshing your pages so Ajax lets you load your content without refreshing these pages so let me give an example then it will be clear so till now we have uh, in our web pages folder we have this index xhtml file and second .xhtml file so I will just go to this index dot xhtml file and in the last video we also made this user dot java class which have a string and get set method for this string variable okay so I will use this class which I have uh, show shown you in the last video so if you don't know how I made this class just see and watch the last video so I go to the index.xhtml this is the code I have written in the previous videos so I will go in the body and inside this form h colon form and here I will make space little bit space and here I want to add one more button and one more input text so what I will do is I will add input text and you can give ID to it is equal to input text two this time because we already have input text one value value we are going will use the same value as this uh, username so I will make use of this class itself which I have made in the last video so inside this value just give this hash and then user dot name okay and just close it now uh, what I will do is I will make a button so for making this button I can copy this button command which I previously shown you and I just change this ID for this and I will change this button also so I will name this uh, button as load value for example and action right now I don't want to g give any action to it so I will just remove this action from here so what I have done I have made a input text and a button and now I want to show this text uh, below this so I will just make a break first so it will come on the next line and now I will make uh, output of my button action perform so I will write h dot h 
h underscore output text and then the id id you can give o text to and then here I will provide the value so what will be the value whatever I enter in this input text the same output it must must show here okay so I will just copy this and paste it here and I will just close it so I have written this code right now and now I will run this program so it has uh, given me some this text box and I have this load value but button so now whenever I put any value in this text box and when I click this load value button you see it shows this value here once again but what is happening here is whenever I press this button it's refreshing every time it has to load every time and it has the page is refreshing at every time but in some application we don't want to refresh this page when we load something in the same page we just want to show this text as it is so a by using ajax it is possible to load your text without refreshing your page so how can you do that now i will show you so we have this so one more thing i would want just want to clarify here you could see the same text here and the same text here why because in my form i have this this and this all are setting the same value that's why you you see the same value in three places so don't worry about that and don't be confused about that why this is happening yeah i will provide one break for the button okay so now we want to load our content without refreshing the page so what I will do here is in this command button I have closed this command button here but I will not close it here and uh, what I will do is I will close it like this like this okay so this is closing and inside this command button tag what I will do is I will provide a ajax function tag so whatever you write after this f it's a core JS jsf uh, tag so it takes first argument as event this event is the event which you want to perform so I want to show this text whatever I pr uh, enter in the input text it should come on this output so event is the input ID so I just copy this input and I will just pasted it here and then I render this so I will provide render and I will copy this output text wherever when I press this button it takes the text from here and it outputs in this output text right so I will copy this output tag output ID and paste it here and then I will just 
close it okay so what i have done is inside this button tag i have given a ajax tag which takes the argument event which takes the input and which takes the argument render which takes the output text id okay so in this video we have written this code right now okay now once again we run the program and it's showing me some error so let's see why it's showing uh, the error in here i think instead of event i must have uh, written execute because we are executing this command here and showing the output and now uh, when i run the program it shows me the page so notice here i will write hello youtube here and when i press this load button i'll just close these so you can see here if it's refreshing or not so when i press this load button it just refresh the content here but it's not refreshing the page some other text it just refresh the content and it's not refreshing the page so in this way you can use ajax for refreshing the content but not refreshing the whole page again and again if you wa want to make this code more easy just you can just uh, remove these this button from here and we will you can just use this ajax alone and we can use now we can use event argument and inside this event you can pass any event for example i write key up so whenever i press the key and when i uh unpressed my key key up event it will execute this command so let's see how it works i run the program and it shows me this content so i write whatever i will write here when i press the key and i unpress the key when i unpress the key this event is taking place okay so whatever i am writing here it's going directly below here printing here okay so this is the easy way to use ajax in your web application so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now